All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I know I haven't been around in a while. I've been really busy, some crazy things going on. So uh, having to handle everything one thing at a time. Ken and I have been working on some a really big project, really, really big in the back here. Just every time we get somewhere, we seem to hit another speed bump, another speed bump, another speed bump. But I think we finally nailed it. We have one more road to cross and we're probably gonna be doing that tomorrow. So hopefully, hopefully we're fully up and running this weekend at the latest. So we keep trying to keep trying so we're gonna get there though we're not worried about that today we we're gonna discuss my favorite light I have finally found a light that I'm 110% happy with I think I did a video on purchasing it but now I got a chance to use it and I'm stoked about it I absolutely love it I use it for everything everything it took me a long time to find a light that I was perfectly happy with so finding one it's just it's great it's, it's it's a great feeling out of all the different lights out there I've gone through and tried this is the light and I'm talking about the snap on ECH FKY this is a 350 lumen rechargeable light now there's many different reasons as to why I like this light and why I chose it to be to me my favorite light first off it has a magnetic base which is always good it's always great to have a magnetic base on a light because then you don't have to worry about where what's gonna hold it where you're gonna hang it you know what I mean and on the underside of a vehicle where it's nice and dark there's many places to hang a magnetic light frame uh, front end parts you know you name it 90% of the time it will stick to it of course unless it's aluminum now even though I still even though I use this and stand by this light I still have my everyday carry which is the stream light which one is this uh, uh, the stylus pro it is not the rechargeable it's just the two AAA batteries. I do use rechargeable batteries in them, and you know, so I don't have to worry about keep having to buy batteries. So this this guy I use, I keep it in my pocket, and you should always have one of these, always, because there's nothing better than just being able to reach in your pocket and have a light when you need a light. Because in this field, you have to have a light. Like a point and shoot light is a must. You know, like basically what this is. You point and you turn it on. You have light where you need light. So that's that. Anyways, let's get back into this. So here you have it, uh, some of the specs on it. It is a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery, 2000 milliamp hour. Runtime is roughly about three hours and the charge time is anywhere between four and five hours, which is a little lengthy, but I'll tell you, it runs, it seems to just last and last and last. Uh, you have variations of colors you can choose from that I know of, you have red, orange, green, and I, that might be it. You might have a few more. You know, Snap-on's got all their high-vis colors or whatever, but uh, I know those are the three primary colors you can get. Obviously, the part number is going to change with the color. And again, this one is red, and this one is ECF HKY. Now, let's go over some of the pros and cons and what it comes with. So obviously, you see here you have the box. So inside the box, you will find that you have your light and you have another box. Inside this box, you will find that you have your... Now, again, guys, I put this back in the box for the sake of the video, but I have been using the light. I do take care of it, so it's still clean. But it's has its dirty spots but whatever you have your usb wall adapter which is cool because if you have other things that are you know uh the same voltage uh you can use this for that as well you know cell phone uh you know whatever another light could be anything but this is good to have because you can use it for multiple things you also have your micro usb again this is a micro usb cable it's roughly two and a half feet in length and uh, you know it's a, it's a good length for for what it is I have outlets in my toolbox so I plug it in there and then I just simply uh, stick the light on anywhere in my toolbox because again it's magnetic that's another thing it's just nice to have it stuck there and whenever you need it you just roll by and grab it so it's too easy so you have that also which I do not have in the box because I already went through one you go through a lot of them is on the bottom here you have the magnet and they have these uh you have these sticky covers and what they do is they keep you from scratching items wherever you stick this on so if you're sticking it on i mean you should never stick it on the paint job of a vehicle but you happen to do it you might get lucky and not scratch the vehicle chances are you're going to mar it up in some way shape or form so you should never stick it on the paint job of a vehicle but wherever you stick it on there's going to be less chance of you defacing the property okay so be smart as to where you stick this uh so you get two of these i've already gone through one of them you go through them quick it's whatever but chances are you're going to be using it under the hood and on the underside of the vehicle so or inside the vehicle 
you know, doing dash work or whatever. But again, that's why I have my carry light, my point and shoot light, just for stuff like that. So one of the main reasons, again, why I like this light is the magnetic base, plus it rotates 180 degrees, which is very nice. So, you know, you're sticking it somewhere. The magnet is very strong, very, very strong. I know I keep saying it, but another favorite thing is the magnet because of how strong it is, very strong magnet. So if it's like this, it takes a little bit of force to go ahead and swivel this. So, but with that magnet, you can go ahead and secure it wherever you'd like, and you can go ahead and turn this, and you're not gonna rip it off of whatever you have it stuck to. Uh, again, this does take force, so it's gonna stay put wherever you put it. Very, very helpful. So I always find myself lodging this somewhere, especially doing like alignments and stuff, lodging this somewhere, and then repositioning it. Again, to me, that's why it's so helpful, because you don't have to keep taking it down, moving it here, moving it there, moving it there. You simply just stick it, reposition it wherever you need it and that's that you don't have to move it around very much so as far as the power button you have the power button up top it's got a rubber coating to protect it uh, i'm sure this is like waterproof or you know any sort of liquid proof to a certain degree i'm not 100 percent certain but the way everything's rubberized it seems to be like it's you know if you drop this in a drain pan or something if you get it out quick enough it's probably not going to do any damage you also have a rubber coating or a rubber flap over the power, uh, over the charging port. So, and that, that clips in there nicely and it feels like it could, uh, could waterproof it a bit as well. Now you have the Snap-on logo here. You have a Snap-on logo S here and an S here, which adds to it. Uh, you have a carbon fiber design around the bezel here, which adds to the cosmetics of the light. Uh, you will notice inside the light that you have six LED lights and then a seventh one. The six LED lights are your primary lights, and then the seventh one is your low battery indicator. Now, as far as the cons, well actually let me get into this first. You have two modes to this, technically three. You have off, then you have on, first click is 100%, Second click is 50% and then you know, third click is off. So this is where my only gripe about this light comes in. Okay, I believe the first click should be 50%. Uh, and also too, I don't notice a big difference between the first click and the second click between 100% and 50%. They both seem equally as bright to me, but it states that it is 50% difference. So, I mean, that's a good thing. But my gripe is that I think 50% should be on the first clip or the first click because you may not need all that light. Uh, you may only need, you know, just enough light that the that the lowest setting has to offer, and you can serve battery power. You can serve battery life. Uh, you know, you click it once and it's on, and you're only registering in your brain. Okay, it's on. I got the light I need. But you're killing twice the amount of battery power and not really thinking about it. Whereas if, uh, if the 50%, whereas if the 50% were the first click, then you would only be consuming half the battery life you would be as if you were using 100%. So that's really my only gripe is that I believe they should have put the 50% first and then the 100%, but whatever, it's backwards, it's so be it. Every company does things backwards here and there. So actually I do have a second break. Of course because this is Snap-on, it comes with a Snap-on price tag. I want to say this was $59.99 or $69.99. I've had it for a little while now so I don't remember, but I do believe it was $59.99. And maybe sometimes it goes on sale, which you probably get 10 bucks off, I don't know. But when I purchased this, it was $59.99. I do love it and I do use it every day. But that being said, Cornwell offers damn near the same light. In fact, I'm I would bet my bottom dollar on it that the same company that makes Cornwells makes this. Everything looks 100% identical as far as the uh, cosmetics and aesthetics of it go. Everything looks exactly the same except here they call theirs the Cyclops. It's an LED, a circle, circular LED bezel in the center and to me I believe that's the only difference. Oh wait, however, on the Cyclops 50% is the first click. Also, with the Cyclops, it's $29.99. Cornwall sells it for $29.99. Does, you know, when, when you get these boxes and stuff, 
believe it or not, that comes into play with part of the cost. It's not cheap to have these boxes. You know, it costs to have these boxes, so uh, they gotta make their money back there. But the Cyclops is $29.99, and it's the, to me, the same exact light. We have some at work, so I was able to see them and match them up firsthand. You know, that's one of the things. Also, too, I believe the Cyclops only comes with the charger, the charging cable, and not the plug adapter, so keep that in mind as well. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. But the Cyclops is just as bright, same exact, same exact design, you know, even to these little, uh, slots in the side again this is all just cosmetic but everything is the exact same and if you purchase one you'd see a, a little difference in the in the power button where this is kind of concave uh, contoured to fit your finger to push it it's got a little concave in it the Cyclops is you know it's, it's the opposite way so it, it comes out and protrudes rather than recesses so other than that you know that's the only difference but yeah guys that's all I got for this 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 here is my favorite light again I finally found a light that I can call my favorite light and I have to search no more for it. new lights come out on a daily basis it seems so uh, you know I'm always willing to try new things but I'll try it on the truck before I buy it but I think it's gonna be a long time before I replace this guy I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope this helped you out and I hope this makes you uh, take a look at this light next time you're on the truck and see if you can use it and see if you like it for yourself because again I certainly like it I love it I enjoy it and I'll keep using it guys remember if you plan on shopping on Amazon use one of the links in my description to get to Amazon any of the tool links to get there you do not have to buy anything that the link brings you to just use the link to get there and it will recognize that it was my link that sent you there and then I will get a commission off of anything you purchase on Amazon all you have to use the link to do is get there and then shop as you normally would it's not gonna put that item in the cart or anything use the link to get there shop as you normally would that's it also too if you guys are interested to help support the channel I do have a patreon you could check that out link is in the description as well I'm gonna be bringing out more content finally uh, it's just not gonna be super extravagant content with special effects and stuff that's all coming very very soon but be on the lookout for the channel Ken and I are creating it's created already it's the old debate station channel the link will be in the description go on go ahead over there and check it out subscribe there's nothing up on there yet but this weekend we will have stuff thanks for watching thanks for being a part of this video and I'll see you guys in the next video